good morning and it is a really good morning because I had a slept for 11 and a half hours. I went to bed last night at quarter past eight riveting Friday night. It is the weekend. Praise Jesus for that. I have literally nothing planned today. Today is my Sabbath. Very excited about it. Put my workout gear out tentatively last night thinking yeah if I'm in the mood I might do a workout. We're gonna do a workout. Ah, pretty good help. I'm gonna say, this has so much sugar in it, probably not the best way to start my day. It actually doesn't. It has less than a gram of sugar in it. It just tastes really sweet. I don't know why. <laughs> Workout OOTD is on. I just realized, I don't know if it's just on camera, but I literally have tan lines from when I wore these every morning when I went for a walk in Fiji. So, absolutely stoked that clearly my legs are tan. They may not look like it, but they are. Welcome to the garage gym. Got a hit workout on the cars today. Put a screenshot of it on the screen so you can see. Three zones. Each zone you do four rounds. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off each exercise. Workout done. It was actually really hard. 86% humidity right now. It wasn't meant to be a hair washing day but it definitely is now. I am well and truly in the depths of my bagel era at the moment. So I'm having a bagel for breakfast, which is basically brunch because it's 11 o'clock. It is 11 o'clock and I haven't eaten. That is so bad. Here's my breakfast slash brunch slash basically lunch. Yesterday, as I was scrambling out the door to get to work, was also running late, which wasn't ideal. I got blocked in the driveway by the courier van. I just put my car in reverse and he comes tearing in the driveway and I was like, Oh, babe, your timing sucks. Get out of my car, walk over to the van, hands me this massive box. So when I realized what it was, I was like, actually, you know what, buddy? It's fine. Have a great day. I was on my way to work, so I just threw the box in the car, took it to work, opened it when I got to work. And um, this is say, my jaw was on the floor. I've dismantled what it was now, but each bag, got my initials embossed onto it. And it's also got the Whitaker's logo because it was from Whitaker's. I didn't even know they were bringing out new chocolate, but they are. So these are the two new ones that they've got. It's Gisborne orange and hazelnut and creamy milk and raspberry New Zealand strawberry and dark chocolate. I am quite a big fan of dark chocolate and I'm also not a fan of orange flavored stuff. Like it's not it's not something that I would reach for. So based on that I was expecting that I would love this and not be such a fan of this but don't get me wrong love them both. But I honestly think I prefer the orange one like it just tastes like summer. But they also sent me all of the other ones that they do and the like what do they call it? Art Oh my gosh, I can't say this word. Arti arti artisan? Artisan. Um, art mm. art artisan? Artisan? Uh, art artisan. Okay, we'll work on that. And they sent me all of the ones that they have. I opened one of them last night. I opened up the Nelson Pierre Manuka Honey and Milk Chocolate. That's so good. I now have a lot of chocolate, which I was so grateful for. And also this bag is so cute. But anyway, that's besides the point. My task for today, which I have challenged myself to, is I'm going to make cupcakes, muffins, whatever you want to call them, inspired by the raspberry and strawberry dark chocolate block. So I'm thinking I'm going to make like dark chocolate raspberry muffins with a white buttercream icing just to like give it a bit of contrast and then break off this chocolate, stick it in the top with some freeze dried raspberries. I make it sound like I know what I'm doing. I actually don't. I've got the ingredients. Instead of doing just raspberries, I'm going to do a mixture of strawberries and raspberries mostly because I don't think I have enough of them and look how icy they are. Anyway. I am no baking connoisseur, but you guys need to see these muffins. Look at that. I'm not going to lie, I did have to do a little bit of improvising because the raspberries that I thought I was going to use were disgusting. The dark chocolate chips I had were also a bit rancid. They've become milk chocolate strawberry muffins or cupcakes, which is not really on brief, but that's okay. I've been staying on because I'm currently making in this massive bowl. They said large bowl, so I got a large bowl. Anyway, I'm making a banana chocolate chip slice. I need to get some buttercream happening for my muffins. going in the oven. It's looking really good actually. We set a timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes starting now. Thank you. Always use your manners with Siri guys. Just gonna try a little bit. Hmm. Tastes like a chocolate muffin. No, not what I was expecting. I'll tell you a little secret. I have made buttercream before approximately zero times. I don't really know what I'm doing. There's one thing I can do it is follow instructions. So I've done exactly that. You know what? It's honestly 
It's not looking too bad. This is this is what we got here. I've got my little piping bag ready to go. I've never really piped anything before in my life either, so this is just we're experimenting. I've also kind of realized like I've just done a mountain of baking. And there's only three of us that live in this house. I think we might be going to my brother's house for dinner tonight. I'll be able to offload some of it to them. This is looking good. I'm no expert, but it looks pretty good to me. I have to talk about this with my friends, but I feel like I'm just in this stage of life at the moment where I'm like a little sim and I just do all these fun little activities just to like level up. Like at the moment I'm leveling up my baking skills just for fun. I have my muffins and I have a beautiful big bag of buttercream icing. If you're a cake person you might be screaming right now because I don't know what this is going to look like when it comes out. Oh no this nozzle is tiny. Are you kidding me? This is so ugly. <laughs> Look how ugly that is. <laughs> oh. Look at that. <laughs> oh man. Can't change the nozzle now because it's in there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. This looks way better. Okay, not gonna lie. This is still a little bit ugly, but... All good. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first one. This is the second one. I wanna know what this one would look like. Oh, this is even worse. That was a mistake. That looks disgusting. Oh, it's on the floor again. Good one, Emma. Good one. It's a little bit... Deconstruct it if you will. <sighs> this looked so much better in my head. Not gonna lie, they didn't turn out terribly. They definitely looked a lot cuter in my head. Would I pay money for this? Mm, maybe that one. Probably not the rest of them. 3.53pm. I don't know where the day has gone. I've just been sitting in my room reading some of my book. I'm reading Darling Girls by Sally Hepworth. 84 pages in. Really interesting. Really screw myself over by not reading the synopsis because I didn't really know what I was setting myself up for. But it's okay. We will persevere. But mum just got home from work. And I am yet to try one of the cupcakes. So mum and I are gonna have one so we can try it. So we're invited for dinner, are we? No. Yes. Are we? Yes. I love it. <laughs> Clearly. Mm, it's good. Not bad. Not bad. It's a yummy muffin recipe. I'd make that again. For dinner. Happy Sunday. It's 6 a.m. We're up in Adam. Last night we went over to my brother's flat for dinner and had the most incredible steak that I've ever had in my life. It was so good. I had lemon meringue pie, so it's that too, and it was just so good. I'm serving at church this morning, so gotta be there at eight o'clock. I'm up to, you know, fill my cup so I can pour out to some other people. It's gonna be a great day. I'm home from church. It was great, it's always great, but it was particularly great this weekend because, okay, I'm just gonna get really vulnerable here for a second. This past week has been rough. Last weekend was amazing, and there were a couple of areas that I've been praying into for, one of them I've been praying into like four or five years, the other one I've been praying into for just over a year. Received huge breakthroughs in both of those two things at the same time, which was like, whoa, thank you, Jesus. Yeah, the enemy wasn't happy about it, so there's been a bit of spiritual warfare going on, and so I was just like, so excited to just go to church. It was just very much needed, and the message this morning was so timely, like. <laughs> My cup was running on empty. It is now nearing overflow, so I'm feeling a lot more like myself right now, but I'm home now, and I've had a quick bite to eat for lunch, and I'm about to go with my mum and to do a little bit of shopping. We also have to go to my nana's house. Yesterday would have been my nana and papa's 67th wedding anniversary if they were both still alive. Unfortunately, they're no longer with us, but we have their home, which they bought when they first got married. So this house has been in our family for 67 years and it had like nothing done to it in 67 years. It's in a state that needs a lot of love. So we've just been slowly working on it for the past year or so. I'll go over there as well and just do some things. So let's go. We're at Farmers. We're here for mugs, but now we're couch shopping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is really comfy. We're looking for a couch for a place the in, at the beach. Oh, that's big. You can't really like sink into it though. Look how cute these are. No. Oh, no? No. Don't like them? They feel horrible. Oh. <laughs> I don't drink alcohol, but these are really cute. I gotta keep reminding myself, I don't actually have a house to put this in. Like, it's the one I own. Something like what Nana, Nana, like your great grandmother would have had in her house <laughs> when I was a kid. What about these? Do you like these? Drink my kombucha out of it, maybe, but. They're pretty, I love the gold rim, but then yeah. they wouldn't be able to go in the dishwasher, would they? Hand wash. Hand only. wash only. That, sorry, that's not gonna work for me. Oh, those are really nice. Okay, well, one day when I actually have a house to put it in, I can come back. <laughs> Don't like it? No. <laughs> <Horrid. laughs> 
how is that? Look at that. Oh, that's a bit weird. Yeah. That is a bit weird. Oh, those are, what are okay. These are these four martinis. Yeah. See, I, I don't know what a martini is. I've just seen people drink them out of that. We're at Nana's now. So welcome to Nana's house. We were at Farmers and I picked up the shot glass. I'm like, that would be a really cute communion cup. And Mum's like, we've got those at Nana's. So introducing my new communion cup. Mum, look at this. Got the gold rim. I feel like I'm in an antique store. <laughs> yeah. Try this piano. Ooh. We found ourselves at Harvey Norman's trying out couches again. We actually came in looking for a TV stand, but we had no luck. But this is comfy. It's just really deep though. Like I would consider myself a normal height person and I'm slouched right now. <laughs> we are home. I am changed. We did not buy a TV cabinet. We did not buy a couch. And what else did we go shopping for? Oh, mugs. We didn't buy mugs. It's only... 2.45. Today's when we just getting started. Hey, so uh -huh. Oh, where are you? Here I am. Got my little lap desk. I do have a cup of tea here. It's very hot, so I can't actually drink it yet. Sitting on the floor is just like, like I, I literally have my, <laughs> my camera set up sitting on a seat and I'm sat on the floor. So, up down the church notes book, I sent my designs into the production manufacturing place. I'd say definitely within the next month I should have them. Preemptively, actually, if you want one, put me a DM on Instagram. It is now 5pm and I'm still sat in the same spot. I've been inspired by Ashley Hetherington to get my cricket out. She posted a photo dump on Instagram yesterday. On the wing mirror, she has like a little sticker that says Jesus loves you. So I'm gonna make one of these right now. I'm gonna do it this color to go on my passenger wing mirror. If they look in the mirror, they can see that Jesus loves them. And I also just Googled to make sure that it's not illegal to stick things on your wing mirror because I don't wanna fail my warrant of fitness because I'm out here trying to spread the good news. I just went out and traced my wing mirror. Make sure I've spelt it right. Yes. That would be embarrassing. Jesus loves you. Trevor is passenger princess next in my car is gonna be blessed. Jesus loves you. Probably the cleanest as wing mirrors have been in his life. I need to get it straight though, it's gonna drive me nuts. I'm gonna need to get in the car and do it. Coming over. Passenger princess in my own car, what do you know? Jesus, Jesus. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm obsessed. Oh my god. Come have a look. POV, you're my passenger princess, and this is what you see. That's so cute. So close to finishing this book, like 20 pages away. I've lived in a good spot. It's literally 8.30 and I'm going to bed. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well. Jesus loves you, and I will see you in my next video. Oh my gosh, words you know. If I don't say that much, never mind, never mind. You can do it. Ow, I just sat on the seatbelt. Oh.